This is how you can code an advanced XP system for your Discord.js version 14 bot. So let's go ahead and get started. We are going to be using MongoDB for this. So if you need to set this up, go ahead and join the server in the description below and our staff will be able to help you out. So to start off, we're going to go to uh, where you keep your schemas and we're going to go ahead and create a new schema called level .js, just like this. We're gonna do const and we're gonna say model and schema. And then we're gonna do equals require and we're gonna do mongoose, just like this. And we're gonna do let level schema equals new schema, just like this. We're gonna go ahead and open it up. We're gonna do guild and we're gonna say string. We're gonna go ahead and do user. And we'll also say string, just like this. We'll do XP and that will be number. And then we're gonna do level, and that will also be a number. Then we can do module.exports, just like this. We're gonna do equals model, and then we can say level, and then we will do comma, level, schema, just like that. After doing that, we are good to go with the schema, so now we can actually go ahead and start with the XP system. All right, so to start off, we're gonna go to our index.js file. We're gonna scroll down to where you have an open space, and we're gonna start off by defining our level schema. So we can do const level schema equals require. In here, we can go ahead and open this up we can do dot slash schemas and then we can do slash level just like that then we can say client dot on we can do events and then we can do dot message create just like this we can do comma async and we'll pass in our message just like that and then we can go ahead and open this up with an arrow function in here we're going to do const and then we're going to open this up we can pass in our guild and we can pass in our author just like that and then we can do equals message just like that then we can say if no guild or author dot bot then we can just return okay so down here we can say level schema dot find one and then we're going to open this up. We're going to do guild and we're going to pass in our guild.id. We do user and we can do author.id as well. And then we can go ahead and do async error and data. And then we can open this up with an error function. We're going to say if error, we're going to throw the error. We're going to say if no data, we're going to open this up. We're going to do level schema dot create. We can open this up. We can do guild. We'll do guild.id. We can do user. We'll do author.id. We can do XP, that would be zero. And then we can do level, and that will also be zero. Now we can come down here, and we can say const channel equals message dot channel. And we can do const give equals one. What this is gonna be is this is the amount of XP that you're gonna give per message. I would recommend just keeping it at one, or you could do some math.random if you wanna make it a random amount of XP, but I'm just gonna use one. Then we can say const data equals await level schema dot find one. And we can do guild and we'll do guild.id. Then we can do user and we'll do author.id. Then we can come down here and say if no data, we're just gonna return. Then we can say const required XP and we'll do equals data.level. And then we can multiply that by data.level. And then we can multiply that by 20 plus 20. So what this is, is this is the maximum amount of XP that it's going to take to uh, reach a certain level goal. For me, I'm going to keep both of these numbers 20. If you want a higher maximum uh, number of XP to reach your level goal, you can make it like 30, 40, 50, even 100. Um, but I'm just going to keep it at 20 because I think this is a perfect number. Then we can come down here and say if, and here we can do data.xp plus give is greater than or equal to required XP. We can go ahead and open this up. Then we're gonna do data.xp plus equals give. Then we can say data.level plus equals one. We can do await data.save, just like that. Then we can say if no channel, we're gonna go ahead and return. Then we're gonna go ahead and create our embed. So you can do const embed equals new embed builder, just like this. We're gonna do dot set color and I'm gonna choose blue. Then we can do dot set description. And in here, this is gonna be your level up message. I'm gonna do author, and then I'm gonna say you have reached, and then we can pass in our data dot level, and we can just add an exclamation mark. Now we can go ahead and send this, so I can do channel dot send. And in here, I'm gonna go ahead and pass in the embed by doing embeds and embed, just like this. Then we're gonna come here and we're gonna say else, and we're gonna open this up, and we're gonna do data.xp, and then we're gonna do plus equals give, and then we're gonna do data.save, just like that. All right, so now we can go ahead and make our rank command. So we can go to community and we can do rank.js. To start off, we're gonna go ahead and install Canva chords. We can do npm i canva chord, just like that. After that installs, we can go ahead and define the slash command builder. So we can do const slash command builder. And then we can do equals require. And in here we can do at discord.js slash builders. Then we can come down here and say const embed builder and attachment builder then we can say equals require and in here we'll do discord.js just like that as well now we can do const level schema 
equals require and we can do dot dot slash dot dot slash schemas slash level just like that then we can do const canva cord equals require in here we can do canva cord just like that then we can go ahead and do module dot exports equals open this up we can say data new slash command builder we can say dot set name and this will be rank and then we can do dot set description and in here we can say get a members rank in the server just like that and then we can do comma we can then come down here and say async execute and we can pass in our interaction just like that and then we can go ahead and open this up we can then say const we'll do options user and guild and then we'll do equals interaction then we can come up here and go ahead and do add user option do option arrow function option dot set name and this will be our user we can do dot set description and this will be the member you want to check the rank of just like that and then we can do dot set required and we're going to make this false then we can come down here and say const member equals options dot get member and we can pass in our user and then we can do the or sign and we can say user just like that and we can say const member equals guild dot members dot cache dot git and we'll pass in our member dot id just like that and we can say const data equals await level schema dot find one and in here we can do our guild which is going to be our guild.id and our user which will be our member.id we can then come down here and define an embed so we can do const embed equals new embed builder just like that we can then say set color i'll make this blue and then we can do dot set description in here we can say white check mark and we will say member has not gained any xp yet we can say if no data we can return await interaction to reply and we'll pass in our embed just like this. Then we're gonna go ahead and defer a reply. So we can do await interaction dot defer reply just like that. Now we can get the required variable like we did before. So we can do const required equals data dot level multiplied by data dot level. And then we can multiply that by 20 plus 20. You're gonna wanna do the same exact thing you did in your index.js for this. Don't change these numbers or it will not be accurate. We can then do const rank equals new Canva cord dot rank, just like that. This is going to be like an embed, so we can go down here and we can go ahead and say dot set avatar. And in here, we're gonna do member dot display avatar URL, just like that. And we can go ahead and do force static. And that is going to be true. We can then come down here and say dot set background. And in here, we're gonna pass in our image and we're gonna do a comma. And in here, we can just get the background that you want. So for me, I'm just gonna choose a random image for my desktop. After that, we can do dot set current XP. And in here, we're gonna do data dot XP. And then we can come down here and do set required XP. And that is going to be our required variable. Then we can come down here and do dot set rank. And our rank will be one comma rank. And then we can do comma false then we could do dot set level and in here we can do data dot level just like that and then we can do comma level then we can do dot set username just like that and we'll do member dot user dot username and then finally we can do dot set discriminator in here we can do member dot user dot discriminator just like that after doing that we can do const card equals await rank dot build then we can come down here and say const attachment and then we can do equals new attachment builder we can say card and in here we can go ahead and pass in a name which is going to be rank dot png we can then do another embed so we can do const embed 2 equals new embed builder we're going to go down here and set a color to blue we can set title and this is going to be something like member.user.username and then we can do uh, s so it makes it say member.user.usernames and then we can do uh, level slash rank or something like that and then we can do dot set image and in here we're going to do attachment and then we're going to do a colon two slashes and we're going to do rank.png just like that finally we can do await interaction dot edit reply just like that we can pass in our embeds which is going to be our embed 2 and then we can do files and that is going to be our attachment just like that all right so now we are actually done with the rank.js so now we can move on to the xp user reset.js which is going to reset all of the xp of a user so we can go to moderation for our file name we can do xp user dash reset.js just like that we're going to go back into community we're going to go to the rank.js we're going to go ahead and copy everything and paste it in here we're going to go ahead and remove canva cord from the top we're going to go ahead and change this to xp user dash reset just like that we can go ahead and update this resets of members xp 
And then we can go ahead and set this to true. Um, and we can change this to the member you want to clear the XP of just like that. Now we're going to go ahead and delete everything in here because we're not going to need it. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to do const perm equals new embed builder just like that. We can do set color make this blue we can do dot set description and in here we'll do white check mark and we will say you don't have permission to reset xp levels in this server just like that then we can say if no interaction dot member dot permissions dot has before we write in here we're going to go up here and we're going to go ahead and define the permission submit field so we can do comma permissions bit field just like that we can come back down here and say permissions bit field dot flags dot administrator just like that then we can just return await interaction dot reply and in here we can just say our embeds and we will pass in perm just like that one more thing we can do is we can just make this informal by doing eph -E -E and setting that to true we can then come down here and say const guild id and we'll do equals interaction just like that we can do const target equals interaction dot options dot get user and we will do user then down here we can say level schema dot delete many just like that we will pass in our guild and we'll do guild id and we can pass in the user and that's going to be the target dot id just like that then we can do async we'll pass in our error and data and then we can open that up with an error function just like this in here we can do const embed equals new embed builder just like that we can set color to blue and we can set a description say white check mark and we will say target dot tag and then we can do this so target dot tags xp has been reset just like that we can go ahead and send this by doing a wait interaction to reply we will pass in our embeds and our embed just like this that's what we're gonna have to do for the xp user reset uh, so now we can go ahead and move on to the xp reset that resets all of the xp in the server all right so now we can just go ahead and copy all of this we can go to moderation again and we can do xp reset.js in here we can go ahead and paste everything in here we can go ahead and change this to xp reset then in here we can say resets all of the servers xp levels just like that we can go ahead and remove this and add a comma right here then we can go ahead and delete target we're going to go ahead and keep the guild id but we can go ahead and remove the comma and the target id right here we can go ahead and change this to say the xp system in your server has been reset and we can go ahead and send it as we did here the last thing we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to do our xp leaderboard command so we can go ahead and copy all of this go over to community and we can say xp dash leader board.js just like that we can go ahead and paste everything in here we're going to go ahead and change this to xp dash leader board in here we can say this gets a server's xp leader board just like that we can go ahead and remove this permission check right here we can go ahead and pass in the client just like that then we can go ahead and remove the level schema dot delete many so now we can do let text equals and we can do an empty string just like this we can do const embed one equals new embed builder just like that we can do dot set color and we'll make this blue we can do dot set description and in here we can say white check mark and we will say no one is on the leader board yet we can say const data equals await level schema dot find and we'll pass in our guild and we'll do guild dot id then right here we can do dot sort we can open this up we can do xp and we can do negative one comma level and we will do negative one as well we can come down here and do dot limit and we will pass in 10 just like that we can say if no data then we can return await interaction dot reply and we will pass in our embeds and this will be embed one just like that now we can go ahead and defer the reply so we can do await interaction dot defer reply and we're going to go ahead and make a for loop so we can do four and we're going to do let counter equals zero we can do counter is less than data dot length then we can do plus plus counter just like that so now we can go ahead and open this up we'll do let we'll pass in our user xp and level then we can do equals data and we'll do counter then we can do const value equals await client dot users dot fetch and we'll pass in our user then we can go ahead and do the or sign like that and we can do unknown member i'm going to go ahead and fix the await right here as well and we can do const member equals a value dot tag we can do text plus equals and in here we're going to do counter plus one we're going to add a dot here we're going to add a space and we will pass in our member we can go ahead and add a pipe and we'll do xp 
and we can go ahead and pass in our XP. We can do another pipe, we'll do level, and we can go ahead and pass in our level just like that. Then we can do a backslash N just to make the spacing right. We can go ahead and create our embed. So we can do const embed equals new embed builder just like that. We will set a color to blue. We can set a title. And this will be interaction.kill.name. And then we can do uh, XP leaderboard. We can say dot set description. And in here, we're going to do backslash. Uh, back tick backslash back tick backslash back tick. We'll do this three times We can go ahead and pass it in our text. We're gonna do the same thing again So you can do backslash back tick and we'll do that two more times just like that It should look just like this now we can do dot set timestamp Then we can say a footer and in here We'll do text and we can pass in our XP at leaderboard just like that. Now we can go ahead and edit the reply. So we can do interaction dot edit reply and here we can do embeds and we will pass in our embed just like that one thing I did mess up is I did guild ID right here. It's supposed to be guild and right here you're going to also want to do guild uh, just in case you mess that up as well. So we actually go ahead and restart the bot and test this out. Over in the discord server I'm going to go ahead and send a few messages and then I'm going to go ahead and check my rank and as you can see it's going to think and then say that my rank is level 0, 4 out of 20 XP. So now I'm going to go ahead and do XP user reset. As you can see it's going to say that my XP has been reset. If I do rank again just like this and I go ahead and send it it's gonna say I have not gained any XP yet but if I do like one two three four it should say I've gained three so if I do it again it's gonna go ahead and say that I've gained three out of 20 and I did some spamming so that you guys can see what it looks like when you reach the level it's gonna say that I have reached level one as you can see here all right so now we can go ahead and try to reset all of the levels in the server which is obviously only me right now but it would work for everyone else too so if we go ahead and run that command and we tried to get my rank as you can see, it's going to say that I have zero XP. So I'm going to go ahead and send a few messages and we can try to get the XP leaderboard. And as you can see, it's going to say me in number one with six XP. One more thing that I will show you is this is how it's going to look uh, if you have 10 people who actually have the level or if you just have more people who've sent messages in general. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and run XP leaderboard. And as you can see, it's going to go ahead and think and it's going to edit it all in because this is a for loop. As you can see, it's going to edit up to 10 and then it's going to go ahead and stop. So that's how you can code a leveling system for your Discord.js version 14 bot. If you need any help, go ahead and join the server in the description below. If you go ahead and boost the server or get level 15, you will gain access to the premium perks, meaning you will get paste bins for all of the code, um, and you'll be able to request paste bins if they aren't already in there. So go ahead and do that, and I'll see you guys in the next video.